So, I work at a greenhouse. I work like 60 hours a week. We don't get paid overtime. Um, I work with probably at least 50% of illegal immigrants. Um, um, you know, and I love Mexican people or Guatemalan people, Brazil, wherever these people are from, you know, a lot of them aren't from Mexico, a lot of them are from farther south, and to them, they're probably like, hell yeah, I'm making 100, 120 bucks a day, that probably goes a long way in their own country, but here in America, 120 bucks a day for working 12 hours is shit, and, um, and nobody wants to work 12 hours every single day, 60 hours a week, just to make, uh, 400 bucks a week or so, and, um, you know, but to them, four hundred dollars probably goes a hell of a long way in their country. They save up and then they go back there during the winter time. You know, good gig for them. But um, anyways, I just want to say, like, uh, basically, what is happening though is we're bringing illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants are coming across the border. They're being hired to do shitty jobs at cheap ass wages. You know, slavery or whatever you want. Not it's not slavery, but it's basically slave labor, you know, they're, basically they're driving down prices so that you work more and make less money, so that's what illegal immigration does, and it doesn't do it just for America, it does it for every single country that has illegal immigrants, it means that you're going to have to work more hours for less money, now, I have nothing but compassion for people coming from over there, they want to come up here, they want to make their life better, that's great, that's what everyone wants to do, I mean, shit, I get along better with them than most white people or black people, there's no bitching and shit with these Mexicans or these Guatemalans, they just fucking work, dude, and they're all chill as fuck, dude, I love them, and, um, you know, and it's not their fault that they've been put in a position where it's either make less money or be involved in something that um, is bad for everybody, basically, because they're driving down wages for everybody, including themselves. Um, so, yeah, it's not good. It's not fucking good, and it's not their fault. And, but, the thing about Mexican people is, um, you know, we kind of saw through the media especially this year in America, we realize it's all bullshit, you know, we're getting all our news from CNN and shit, I mean, all of CNN and all that shit's bullshit, and in Mexico, you've got all these white people on the news that don't even look like the Mexicans I know, or the South Americans I know, they're all at least somewhat tan, you know, at least a little bit, and now, in Mexico, most of the elites are more whitish, and and these elites don't give a fuck about you guys. Come on now, you guys should know better. These elites are demonizing the West and Donald Trump and shit, and you're like, oh, look, they're on our side. No, they're not on your side. They don't give a fuck about poor Mexicans. They don't give a fuck about you. Wake up. Don't fucking listen to these fuckers, dude. Wake up, Mexico, and you will. Mexico is going to wake up within two years. They're just a little bit behind us culturally. They're, see they're going to see through all the fucking bullshit. And Mexico is going to have a fucking revolution. And they're going to start liking Trump. Because he's going to start bringing high paying jobs to their country as well. He's already done a shit ton of stuff. He's made it. He's actually made it so that the American dollar is going to be more fairly traded with Mexico. That's going to make your guys' economy just boom. But whatever. You know. Don't fucking hate the man just because he's against illegal immigration. Illegal immigration drives down wages for everybody. It's as simple as that. I understand. I have compassion for you. You're coming across the border to get a job. That's great. Good for you. I'm never against somebody looking out for themselves. You gotta look out for themselves. But as the president, his job is to look out for the country and to look out for people as a whole. And for people as a whole, it's not good to make people work more hours for less money. You guys are coming across the border to do shitty jobs and get paid shit for it. When those jobs used to be city jobs, but you'd at least make good money for them, enough to have two cars and a house and shit. Now you work that job, the mom has to work that job, it's destroying the family, it's, you know, more hours for less money destroys everything, it destroys the whole fucking economy as well, along with it. So don't hate on Trump for that. It's time for Mexico to wake up and see through the bullshit. The West love you, white people love Mexican people. <laughs> That's not what it is. It's the rich hate the fucking poor. It's not about color. It's about there's some elite groups of assholes that could give a fuck about poor people. You know? That's who we need to fight for. And Donald Trump seems to not have a lot in common with these people except for being rich. He's rich. They're rich. They all fucking hate him. 
the same people that have been fucking you over and made your country, made it so that you guys have to bust your ass off and basically have slave labor in Mexico. The same people that did that to your country don't like Donald Trump. So maybe give the guy a second fucking chance.